Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the fantastic cardistry reveal. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, the first time I did this, it worked. I was at work, I did use a scruffy deck, it didn't fan out brilliantly, but I will let you know, um, this will probably work better with cardistry cars, because I don't know whether they're a bit more flexible, because if you look what this deck looks like now, as soon as I do this trick, this deck will be really, really out of shape. So be warned, practice with some old cards because they're going to be knackered. So what you're basically going to do, Spectator's got a free choice to pick any card. These six of spades. In performance, what did I do? In fact, I think I riffle down the side, call out stop, show the Spectator their card, the Ace of Clubs. As you're showing them that in fact the deck is all mixed up, under the fan, you're going to flick up this top card, but that will be under cover, and then you're going to place the fan on top of that card and close it up. So you will put the chosen card on the top. It's a very simple move and completely invisible. Call out stop. Remember this card for me, the five of spades. And I'll just show you. All the cards are in fact mixed up. Flick up that card under the fan and place these on top. So you will be in a position where their card is on top of the deck. You do now need to get a pinky pull down on the bottom card. Turn it into a thumb break. Swing cut the top portion. Putting these cards together so you're depositing that chosen card on the top of this deck. Swing cut this and drop this down. So you've just placed an indifferent card on top of the spectator's chosen card. So the spectator's card is on top. Pinky pull down, thumb break, swing cut the top portion, momentarily put them together, swing cut the top packet, drop this down. You would have put an indifferent card on the top of the deck. You'll now say that there's two places your card shouldn't be. One is on the top. You're going to get a double lift now under the king and the five, their card. So you're going to get a double, scruffy double. You're going to get your double. Oh God, I can't even get a double lift now. Get your double. Flick these cards over and say, look, your card is not on the bottom. Now, in fact, I want to get rid of this jack because this could be a crimped card. And say your card is somewhere in the pack. What you need to do now is put this double about a quarter of the way from the top of the deck. Place this in say, look, your card could be somewhere, somewhere else. Turn the deck back over and cut the deck roughly in half. Remembering the spectator's chosen card is face up somewhere in this top half of the deck. Turn these cards face to face and say, look, we're going to shuffle face up into face up. Shuffle these cards together, making sure that this, remembering this is the top portion of the deck. Push them in a little bit. Swivel this packet round so we're in this position. Turn the deck over so you're like this. And now you're literally going to apply a little bit of pressure with your thumb and your fingers on the back as you squeeze all this round. So you're going to squeeze all this round and you should be in this position now and as soon as you lose, um, let a bit of grip go, the cards will naturally spring out and there will be the reveal of the five of spades. Now like I say, this is about the sixth time I've done this and if this was a really nice smooth deck, this would go all the way around. I'm not going to go over this again because I'm going to show you something now. If I square all these cards up, you saw how tidy this deck looked before I started. It now looks like this, look, a right mess, because you're putting such a bend on the cards. I mean, I could probably straighten these out. It's still a bit scruffy. I don't think I'm going to get these cards back to how they were. But I think with cardistry cards, they're probably a little bit more flexible, a little bit more pliable. So that's it guys, it's a very simple move. Let's see if I can do it again with some scruffy cards. Push these in. You're gonna swing this round. Grip here, swing it up. Close these together and just, oh there we go, look. What it is, I think you need to release pressure off so it'll go out quickly rather than doing it too slow. Let's try again. Like I say, I've only done this a handful of times and it looks 
quite complicated but it seemed to be a quite an easy move so just get a deck of cards and practice so you're going to swivel it round turn it over pinch these together and just let it go oh yes gaffer looks like an absolute wizard so comment subscribe like guys and come back tomorrow for another card trick cheers